From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with world exclusive about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we'll go over more about the world exclusive Roke on LA News two days ago. As the Democratic staffers of both congressional and House members say, now, one, negotiations are near complete for the inclusion of a stimulus check in the $3.5 trillion reconciliation budget bill. Number two, that the checks will be monthly. And number three, that the checks will be around $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for six months. In this recording, you hear a new world exclusive, which I have heard from sources across the board in the last 24 hours that the checks will be for adults 18 years and older because the children are getting the checks under the other provisions of the reconciliation bill. I'll have all the incredible great news in this recording. Then later in this recording, I'll have a new feature about the debt ceiling limit because that is causing some confusion for viewers across the board, wondering if their benefits will not be paid if the government defaults. I'll explain all the details, no worries whatsoever for you. Then we cut to the big exciting first 645 pages of that reconciliation budget bill. Checks for Hazapay, checks for workers, checks for seniors, even checks for a brand new bike. Then checks under cluster number two, we'll be getting to those as well. Cluster number three, the president's checks, like uh, the big checks for home repairs, seniors and SSI and SSDI. And then the big exciting details that no one saw coming with an additional $13 billion coming to your cities and counties and states for rent on the third stimulus. It's a big day. The excitement's here. I got more world exclusives for you starting right now on Afternoons Elite. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. The weather has warmed up in Southern California, but it's supposed to cool off later today. So hope the weather is good where you are. Tell me where you're tuning in from. In this Fourth Stimulus Check Updated 2021 World Exclusives, you're not going to hear anyone else but here on L.A. to direct from Santa Monica, California. As first broke on the World Exclusives on L.A. news that, number one, the congressional leaders are near complete on negotiations of the inclusion of a stimulus check into the Reconciliation Budget Bill. Staffers from both House and Senate members tell viewers of this channel those details. Staffers also from congressional leaders tell the viewers of this channel that multiple stimulus checks running on a monthly basis are in there. Then, staffers also tell viewers of this channel that the provisions that they're negotiating on look like it'll come out at $2,000 a month the first month, $1,000 thereafter, running for six months. In this recording, we'll also cut to the exciting great news of the first 645 pages of the Reconciliation Budget Bill. Release checks for hazard pay, checks for workers, checks that we have never seen before, including $4,000 of care for the seniors, then checks for uh, adult uh, elderly, and then checks for even college, uh, college tuition and checks for home repairs. Wow. Then a new world exclusive you're going to hear in this recording as checks are like to go for people not covered by the $300 a month MSC $51,000 checks in this recording. I'll explain the details. It's deliciousness. Then we cut to the big exciting news as the debt ceiling limit looms, but I'll explain to you why it means much of nothing for you. It's absolutely one of the most complicated things out there, and I'm going to make it easy breezy for you to understand. And the additional $13 billion coming from the federal government for rent and utilities and food and what the nonprofits are doing as well. Well, wow, we have a big recording, and it starts right now because this is LA, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel with world exclusives you're not hearing anywhere else because of this is LA. And I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Thank you for the like the last two weeks, the two biggest weeks on this channel for nearly three months. Let's keep on doing it. With Moral World Exclusives making those phone calls, you make those phone calls, get those details to me. Also, like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member.
Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. The link's under the video. Let's get to the world exclusives and the new one you're hearing today on this channel. Number one, the Senate and House Democratic staffers tell viewers of this channel that they are near completion on the negotiations of the inclusion of a stimulus check provision in the $3.5 trillion reconciliation budget bill. Number two, that the provisions will run with a check that will come out monthly. And number three, they're currently looking at the follow following agreement. It's not finalized yet, but this is what they're looking at doing. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, running for six months. These were broke on the LA News site, which has been in existence for nearly two decades, two days ago. New exclusives you're hearing today, starting right now, is one, I'm hearing that the legislation will again be written by the House side, as I've been reporting for nearly three months, and that the people who are actually putting this language together is AOC, Omar, Jayalapal, and Pelosi. And number two, that it will go for a vote first on the House, which I've been reporting for nearly three months. Finally, I'm also hearing that the checks will be for everyone 19 years or older, because if you're newborn to 18, you're getting up to $300 a month, $3,600 of stimulus checks under the other provision of the reconciliation budget bill, that they don't want to pay you twice if you're newborn to 18. You're getting it under the other provision. Wow, there you go. How do we get to this wonderful spot? We got to this wonderful spot nearly eight weeks ago when I told viewers of this channel, pick up the phone and advocate. And WR, a long viewer, the longtime viewer of this channel, picked up the phone and called Senator Chris Coons, Democrat, Delaware, advocate for a stimulus check. And Senator Chris Coons, a staffer, told WR, a viewer of this channel, yes, Senator Chris Coons will be putting a monthly stimulus check in there. It continued three weeks later. As longtime viewer, uh, and Purple Hawk and 2020 volunteer to the community page. Brother Joshua picked up the phone and spoke to Bernie Sanders' office. Senator Bernie Sanders' office told Brother Joshua and then told nearly a dozen other viewers thereafter that Bernie Sanders will be putting a monthly stimulus check provision in the recon. That Brother Joshua was told it's $1,000 to $1,400, a little bit different, and running three to six months, but needs your support. And that's when the floodgates open. It started with Donnie, who picked up the phone and advocated vigorously, saying, this is what I need. This is what my community needs, telling Bernie Sanders staffers. And they said, yes, Senator Bernie Sanders is putting that monthly stimulus check in there. The advocacy came from Hurricane Tina, who picked up the phone and advocated. And then it came from Carolyn, who is a longtime viewer in the morning's countdown show. She wrote about this, how she advocated vigorously, saying people are losing their homes. We need to get it done. And Sanders office saying, yes, it's getting in there. Yaya Coin Senator Ron Wyden, who has previously put in writing he's doing an MSC. That's monthly stimulus check language, MSC. And Wyden's office telling Yaya, yes, he'll be pushing for it, and it also asks us $200. But then the step came late last week with viewers like Will, who picked up the phone and didn't call one office. He called three offices. He called Bernie. He called Chuck. He called, he called uh, Liz. And Warren Sanders and Schumer's offices all confirmed to Will, who advocated vigorously for the need for that stimulus check for him and his family, that yes, it's getting in there. Elizabeth Warren's office specifically told Will that Elizabeth Warren will be push will be inserting a fourteen hundred dollars to two thousand dollar six to twelve month provision in that reconciliation budget bill. Lorica is perhaps the most probative of the comments because she picked up the phone and called Senator Bob Casey's office, and Bob Casey's office called Lor told Lorica that Senator Casey's not only putting a stimulus check in there, but that the negotiations for that check is currently underway. These comments from Lorica, this comment from Lorica was late last week, so this is about a week ago. And then we have Paul, who's a wonderful viewer. He picked up the phone and called Pelosi's office, and AOC's office, and AOC's office confirmed to Will, to Paul, after advocating for a stimulus check, that AOC will be putting in $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for 12 months. The floodgates really opened by the end of the week because I told viewers to pick up the phone and advocate among the House Democrats, and Paul did with AOC. Then Jayalapal's office confirmed to Janice, yes, they are doing an MSC. Janice on Morning's Countdown today said, hey, Al, I saw your message. I'm calling Omar. I'm going to try to get Omar on the phone. Good. You need to push with Omar. And then the advocacy came in big time yesterday. As one viewer say, I lost my husband during the pandemic. I'm raising two kids 
kids as a mother on SSDI and their teenage daughters. I've gone through 10 surgeries. I need this. And the office telling her yes. Margaret being a very big advocate and picking up the phone and crying with the staffer and saying, I need the stimulus check. And the staffer saying, we're getting it in there, Margaret, MSC. The big update came from uh, came from Mark. You've met him on this channel before, $51,000 Mark. He got over $51,000 from this channel. He called Pelosi's office on Monday, and Pelosi's office confirmed $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter is the language that Pelosi is inserting, and that Pelosi's staff confirmed that they are near finish negotiating the provisions of the reconciliation budget bill. Then, finally, Lorraine making the big push as well. So what is the other exclusives I can report to you today. Sources tell LA as well the following things are happening. One, that they're near finalized with the negotiations. Number two, that the amounts are still exactly where I reported. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, and six months. Number three, that the checks would be for people 19 years of older because if you're newborn to 18, you're getting $3,600 of stimulus checks approximately under the other provision of the recon, that they don't want to give you five ten thousand dollars $10,000. They don't want to give you double stimulus checks, that you're getting other checks in another cluster under this recon. I'll be getting to that in a second. And then number three, that, and then finally, that the authors of the language may be AOC, Jayalapal, and Pelosi, and that they're going to debut it in really a big pageantry of debut because this has been a relatively quiet discussion unless you watch this channel with the world exclusives. And there you go. Let's get to the first 645 pages of that reconciliation budget bill, because guess what? There's lots of checks in there. Cluster number two, which I'm going to go to over right after that, has 12 more checks. And cluster number three, which I'm going to go over after that, even more checks. Later in this video, I'll be going to the debt ceiling limit because it's very important for you to understand whether or not it impacts your benefits. It does not. I have that later in this video, so stay to the very end. A lot of breaking news at the very end of this video, but let's go over the first 645 pages of the reconciliation budget bill released. The remaining pages of an upward of 8,000 page bill could be released as early as later this week. The first 645 pages reveal to us that this recon has nothing to do with COVID, so you don't have to be COVID COVID-ish to be eligible for these items. The checks in the first 645 pages are hazard pay, money for seniors, money for children, $51,000 of MSCs, monthly stimulus checks, money for college students, money for home repairs, a bike, a car, and a new truck. Let's go over all the details starting right now. The first one is hazard pay. And yes, hazard pay will be lifetime under the fourth stimulus recon. It's unbelievable to say that. Then 2020, this channel was the Vortex, the biggest place on the planet for advocacy of hazard pay, making nearly 300 to 500 videos. Well, we got into third stimulus, but it was only temporary. And now it'll be under fourth stimulus. What are they doing? They're taking a very old tax code called the Earned Income Tax Credit, expanding the eligibility so more people are eligible for it, and then broadening the number so more people, so you get paid more per year. For every year you fall within the zone of eligibility, you qualify for that stimulus, that, that stimulus payment. And there you go. That is essential workers and has a pay. The second check is a big surprise to everyone because it was not in anyone's radar. It's from Representative Richard Neal, and it's up to $4,000 a year if you care for the elderly. Huge if you have an elder person at home and you're a care provider. Something like that may trigger the eligibility. Also, on the other side, if you care for a young adult child, you may qualify as well up to $4,000. Then, check number three, college students. College students will have new grants. The Pell's grant will be tax-free. There'll be new grants to the colleges. They'll pay you and some grants directly to you. The check after that is the check to repair the home. If you live in a low-income house, if you live in a low-income community, the federal government will have checks for you to repair the home, incentive checks. What about $51,000 of monthly stimulus checks over 18 years? Yes, it's in there. That four stimulus recon has it in there. If you're a parent of a newborn child and you're in a low-income household, for every month that you remain in that low-income household, you will get up to $300 a month per child, per month, per year, over up to 18 years for every month, every year that you qualify. And that, again, is per child, $51,000. How about money for a bike, a car, a truck? Yes, it's in that first 645 pages of the reconciliation budget bill. The first one is a new electric bike. The federal government will pay up to 15% of the purchase price. Number two, what about a new electric vehicle? 
for personal use from the U.S. number three auto manufacturers, up to $7,500 in your pocket. Then a vehicle for business use that's electric and from the number three auto manufacturers or a truck that's electric, yes, that will be a little bit more. Wow. That is the first 645 pages of that reconciliation budget bill. In cluster number two, we go over 12 more checks, which the Democrats are putting in there. They're just going over the amounts and the terms in these final last days. Cluster number three, which I'm going to get to shortly thereafter, checks for seniors, checks for workers, checks for cheaper prescription medication, and a world exclusive only on this channel of an additional $107 billion now freed up to be paid to you. Wow. But let's go, let's go over that 645 pages of the reconciliation budget bill. How do they achieve it? What does it mean? Where does it come from? The Democratic members of the Congressional Caucus, House and Senate, are the people passing the recon. No Republicans are needed. And the way they got the agreement on the 645 pages is behind closed doors, in their offices, on the phone, in congressional meet subcommittees, walking down the hall, having a cup of coffee. It's not on the House floor. It's not on the Senate floor. It's not on TV. It's not on C-SPAN. It's not on TikTok. <laughs> no congressional dancing. No. Uh, once they agree upon the provision, then they say, go write it. So, what do you think about the $4,000 a year to care for the elderly? I like it. Go ride it. What about 15% for the bike? I like it. Go ride it. After they had enough provisions, they said, go ride it. Cluster number two will have more checks in there as well. They're nearly finished on riding that. It's coming up in just 10 seconds. But here's a preview of something later in this video. Say the very 15, file 15 minutes of this video. Well, $13 billion are landing in your counties and cities and states for rent that no one thought was around. And the huge important thing to understand today is that this announcement was made late last week. So we're upwards of close to one week on this announcement. You need to pounce Purple Hawks and get this money. This is an additional cash infusion of money for rent, utilities, and internet for third stimulus to the counties and states. So if you're in a state or county that said they ran out of money for rent under third stimulus, guess what? Not anymore. An additional $13 billion is coming from Treasury per the news announcement released last week. Treasury is happy to provide the state and local governments these additional resources to provide the Americans in need of rental assistance. If you're a Purple Hawk, I now include the news statement from Treasury in the newsletter for you because this is money you want to get, you want to pounce because it's now been upwards of a week, you want to be first in line. I'll have about more about that later in this recording. But let's cut to cluster number two's checks. So cluster number two's checks are deliciousness. They're huge, they are great, and there's about 12 of them. Number one, paid family medical leave. What is that? Paid family leave is you have to stay home because your wife is pregnant, for example. Paid medical leave, you have to stay home because your son broke his leg, for example. How much does it pay a fortune? Under third stimulus, they were going to do $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. So let's split it in half. Let's say you make $35,000 a year, that would be $800 a week. Let's split it in half again. Let's say you make $15,000 a year for annual income, that would be $400 a week. Yes, it's a lot of money. Then checks for child care programs, checks for household tax credits. Then checks to weatherize your home. I love that. Very well needed, especially if they're purple hawks on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Weatherizing your home is, for example, you're in a hurricane area or a fire area. The federal government will have checks to weatherize your home. By the way, stay late in this video because I'm now hearing the nonprofits are issuing checks this week for some viewers on weatherizing their homes. Then expansion of the Affordable Care Subsidies Act. Medicare benefits for seniors are like checks for dental, checks for vision, checks for hearing. That comes up in the third cluster as well. And then here comes some education. Free pre-kindergarten across the globe. Free tuition-free tuition, tuition -free community college. And someone asked me a great question about this. Any age? Yes, any age. So if you are um, if you are a senior, you can go back to community college to take the very, very popular community college class currently sweeping the country. It's called, what the hell is L.A. saying? I don't understand his language. 101. <clears throat> it's for people who doesn't understand my voice. Yeah, he's just very, he, they talk funny out in L.A. So yeah, you can go take that class. It's, it's sweeping the country. It'll be totally tax-free. No degree offered, but it's a free class. <laughs> And then checks for green energy. Wow. More about that third cluster in a second. But where are the House and Senate Democrats now? They're in session. But you know, and I know, that means nothing to our equation. 
It means nothing on our equation because the negotiations and the finalization of the language of what could be upwards of an 8,000-page bill is not done on the House floor. It's not done on the Senate floor. It has nothing to be done in session. It's done in subcommittees on the phone having a cup of coffee, and that is why it's important. They've been in town for nearly two months, and they're getting this finished by the minute. All right, let's cut to cluster number three, and I have another world exclusive about this with an additional $107 billion I have located that's coming to you. Oh, boy. Free school meals for all checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks. Cluster number three are the checks the president really wants in this recon. Then checks for clean energy, checks for free internet, checks for farmers, checks for... Uh, workers like in a bank contract just checks for seniors like lowering the eligibility age for Medicare, checks for dental, checks for vision, and checks for hearing care. All right, here's another world exclusive you're only hearing on this channel. I've been able to identify an additional $107 billion that's now freed up for you, and it's going to be allocated to you. What happened? Late Friday, in a buried news article that no one really saw, the Senate parliamentarian ruled one of the checks in this list, which is not for you, can't be done. And because it can't be done, that means that the money is going to go to something for you. Wow. That item was for money going to the Department of Judiciary. And because I knew what the item was, because it's actually my list, because I keep my notes from weeks and weeks ago, I went and looked the price tag up. $107 billion. No one else was reporting this, but I backtrack and I cross my cross check my notes. There you are. $107 billion of funds now that can be allocated to programs for you. Two of the checks in this third cluster the present particular likes and I love because they're automatic payments to you where you instantly feel the benefit in your wallet. The number one is the free is a cheaper prescription medication. How would this work? You would immediately see more dollar bills in your wallet every time you go to the pharmacy. First, let's say you go to the pharmacy on a Monday and you pay for a prescription that's $40. You take two $20 of bills out of your wallet. This becomes law, let's say, a week later. Then when you go back to pay for a refill of the prescription, you may only have to take out one $20 bill out of your wallet, leaving an extra $20 bill of savings in your wallet. What's happening under this provision? They're slashing the preferred rates between the federal government and the pharmaceutical companies under cluster number three. How about the free internet? This is wonderful. All you have to do is say, hey, I live there, and the city or county or state will give you free internet. Why? Because the federal government is giving fortunes to the cities and counties so that they can run their own free internet company. It's called a T-Mubu. Uh, Sir Loin has put the application in. T-Mubu. Yes. <laughs> I just love that. And the T-Mubu, you just reach out to them and give them the username and password, and they say, move on over, and then you get the Wi-Fi connection. There you go. Just don't let the scarf track trip on the Wi-Fi cord. No, it's Wi-Fi. There's no cord. What am I saying? There you go. <laughs> in the second half of this video, we'll be going over something you're hearing for the first time on this channel, the debt ceiling limit, because I've done this before in 2020 twice and i know the questions that come in in fact they're very great questions one of the questions even manifests itself this morning on countdown and before i even knew it happened last night i made an ig live video and i know exactly what you're wondering are my benefits checks going to be delivered on time are my are, is my child who's in the military is he going to get paid uh, is my social security check going to arrive or is it not going to arrive? I'm going to go over all those details coming up in the second half of this video. Ben, according to third stimulus as well. And then the big world exclusive, more about this MSC IRS stimulus check and the final negotiations. Boy, it's a big recording. We got a lot coming up after the final 15 minutes. Stay with me and stay with Ally. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. 
The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LL8 at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LL8. And the excitement continues right now from Santa Monica, California, as we go over more of that world exclusive broke on LA news, the website, as congressional leaders and staffers tell viewers of the channel their near completion on the recon that they're doing MSCs and that the negotiations are yielding a deal that looks like this. I'll have more about that and new updates that exclusive in the second half of this recording. Then we're going to go over the debt ceiling limit and whether it impacts your benefits checks coming on time. We'll be cutting to third stimulus and then we'll be cutting to the voting process and who goes first on the Senate versus House and then shortly fifth stimulus. It's a big afternoon and let's see if we get it all in there. And this is Ally, America's only 24 hour day, seven days a week financial news channel. Thank you for becoming part of this incredible family. Thank you for the incredible last two weeks being our biggest weeks on this channel in nearly three months. Subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family. Like the video, two, three thousand likes. Every like helps and consider becoming a member. The link is under the video. Also sign up for those LA alerts so you get an alert when a new video goes live. Coming up later today is evenings LA at five, overnights crypto and then shows at six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock and 11.30. Let's cut to the big surprise as an additional $13 billion is coming out to cities, counties and states from third stimulus. With that cash infusion, there's now a lot more money available for you to get. When we talk about the money, it's rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners assistance. But the numbers have literally gone up double on this channel or 400% in nearly a month. It was a month ago that I was showing you that Purple Hawks' channel gained $20,000 to $27,000. Late last week, two viewers got over $30,000 and Jen got nearly $40,000, a growth of, two, of doubling or 200% in 30 days for rent. When we talk about utilities, the numbers have gone up 300% in a month. Mark's brother-in-law getting $15,000 from utilities. And then when we talk about SNAP, Mark's brother-in-law also getting $21,000, showing a growth of nearly 400%. Get that pen, paper, and cell phone ready, and I'll go over the big exciting details about the nonprofits as well. We're starting right now. First, I'm going to show you six places to reach out to. Listen to all six. You need to reach out to all six of six. They have different eligibility. They have different pots of money. Number two, listen to the keywords I say. And finally, the nonprofits coming up right after that. All right, here are the six places you reach out to. Your city hall, your city house authority. Your county hall, your county house authority. Your state hall, and your state house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. Let's go over those six places again. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. Now, this is what's very important if you understand. Every city, county, and state across the country, whether it's a red state or a blue state, has a massive sum of money coming from the federal government with this $13 billion cash infusion from Treasury. If you're a member to this channel, now in the newsletter nightly, I have a link to the Treasury press release. You need to read that before you call the city, county, and state because when you do, you need to say, hey, have you gotten this money? If they say no, Say, I want to get first on the waiting list. If they say, we have no waiting list, then say, can I call you tomorrow to see if you got the money? You absolutely have to persevere because the money has been now sent out in the last week. We don't know what particular day your place will have it. And when it has it, it could be gone in a week. Kevin Lee, a 2020 volunteer, a 2020 viewer of this channel, a longtime OG from the day one, he got money in Dallas on a particular day within three days, it was gone. So you need to understand, this money just doesn't sit around. That was why we called it Purple Hawks. Hawk, hawk. You need to pounce and get that money as soon as it lands. Next, reach out to all utility companies. If you got five, reach out to five. Then reach out to also the nonprofits. The nonprofits have been doing stuff 
I never heard of them even doing. They are absolutely incredible lately. I brought the nonprofit SPACs in the mix. They were the topic of thousands of videos in fall 2020 and early 2021 called Purple, in which I showed you they get you money for rent, utility, mortgage assistance, food, homelessness into shelters, clothing, sometimes appliances. Well, now they're even doing things like weatherizing people's homes. And the great news is that they're now paying money very quickly because a lot of people don't reach out to them as much as before. One viewer said they, he reached out to United Way within 24 hours of me making a recording about them. And they said no one calls anymore for rent because they just rely upon the federal government. We have, and the person got the money right away. Another person from another organization got a new refrigerator and a furnace and her window, broken window fixed. And then another viewer is getting weatherization of their home. Wow. Then, um, here are the nonprofits. They're also featured nightly in the newsletter. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. Let's go over the five again. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent de Paul. Also, a very nice viewer whose name I forgot um, sent me a beautiful message on Instagram saying, tell viewers St. Vincent de Paul is absolutely helping with rent and mortgage right now. They have a whole system to it. So absolutely reach out to them. I'm the nonprofits are a godsend. Remember, you don't have to be necessarily behind your rent. They have a whole different type of zone of application. Then two other clusters of checks. The refund check coming back for your state. That's landing by direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. And then the IRS check that you pay 2020 taxes on it. It's coming back either by direct deposit or in the mail. Do a tw do an IRS search for it uh, on the transcript search of irs.gov and 70% of the time it works. Finally, if you've gotten any of these sums of money, post in the live chat and you inspire people. People. Lastly, if you've not become a member, consider doing so. The link is under the video. Purple Hawk, Purple Powers, Calcino VIP, members of this channel are delivered daily from me to you, a breakdown of all the big money under first, second, and third stimulus for you to get, including now the inclusion of the nonprofits and that I and that treasury statement. Because Viewers are getting massive sums of money from this channel as members. Mark, 51,000. His brother and his brother-in-law and his neighbor, you know, 40, 50, 60,000. Jen, 40,000 just for rent. Johnny, 80,000. Lorraine, 105,000. Viewers are getting massive sums of money. This is big money. It's available right now. It may not repeat itself under four stimulus because some of these items like rent, they may not repeat. We don't know yet. So reach out. So consider becoming a member. And with that, we go into the final 15 minutes of this video starting right now. And here you go with the world exclusive broke on this channel two days ago on the L.A. News website is that congressional staffers tell viewers of this channel that the insertion of a reconciliation check into or a stimulus check, IRS stimulus check in the reconciliation budget bill is near finalization. The world exclusive started as the following. Number one. Staffers telling viewers of this channel that negotiations are near complete among Democratic House and Senate members for the inclusion of a stimulus check provision in the $3.5 trillion recon bill. Number two, that the checks will run monthly. Number three, that the provision that they're looking at at the moment is $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, every month thereafter, running for six months. The world exclusives that I'm adding to that today are the following. That one, I'm hearing that it's going to be written up on the House side, which is consistent with my exclusive reporting through over the last few months. The House side is writing it up. That the authors behind it are AOC, Omar, Jayalapal, and Pelosi. That will be put into the full House bill. That the House will vote first. And that the eligibility will be the same as what we've seen before, with the exception of the check will be for 19 year and older, because if you're newborn to 18, you're getting a check elsewhere in that MSC, which I just went over, that up to $300 a month, which is $3,600 a year. They don't want to give duplicative checks so that a 14 year old would walk away with you know $30,000 of stimulus checks. Makes pretty obvious sense. How do we get to this spot? We got to this spot nearly eight weeks ago when I said to advocate, and you cannot stop advocating until the very last minute that the president signs into law. I need to make that very clear. It's not time to push back and say, oh, we're fine. No, no, no. You need to advocate down to the very last second the president signs something. And the advocacy started eight weeks ago when I said, pick up the phone and advocate. And WR, a longtime viewer of this channel, heard me. Picked up the phone and called Senator Chris Coons, Democrat, Delaware, Joe Biden's old confidant, and advocated vigorously. And Senator Chris Coons' office said, yes, he's doing a monthly stimulus check. 
Then, about three weeks ago, I told viewers, well, we have two budget committees. We have the House that's writing, that will potentially write the language. I was right. This was 645 pages written by the House. And then we have the Senate Budget Committee that's led by Bernie Sanders. And I told viewers at the time that he got you the $3.5 trillion price tag. It was his negotiations, and that he's critical to the equation. Well, that same week, Bernie surprised us with an incredible quote in which he said, unlike prior D.C. budget chairmen, I like to get out amongst the people when writing the budget bill. I said, if you listen carefully, that means he wants to hear from you. He wants you to advocate. And I told, pick up, I told viewers, pick up the phone and advocate with Bernie Sanders' office. Margaret, Lynn Glenn, and Brother Joshua, 2020, volunteered to the community page, Purple Hawk, and longtime viewer did. They picked up the phone and advocated, saying, this is what I need. Let's go over what advocacy looks like. Advocacy looks like the following. I need a stimulus check because of this. This is what's happening to my family, my daughters, my community, my church. I need it for this. Yesterday, two viewers really showed us beautifully, and they're pouring out their hearts what advocacy looks like. Margaret advocated so vigorously during her conversation that the staffer on the phone started crying with Margaret because of what Margaret has gone through and how that stimulus check would help her so much. Another viewer whose name I'm withholding poured her heart out to a staffer saying that I lost my husband. I'm raising two adult teenage daughters. The stimulus checks would be a godsend. I'm on SSDI. I've had 10 surgeries in the last year. The check from SSDI is not cutting it. I need more money. That is what advocacy is like. God bless those viewers. Brother Joshua did that advocacy at Bernie Sanders' office, and they said yes. Monthly stimulus check. Bernie's office said the following, $1,000 to $1,400, three to six months, a little bit different. But Bernie's office said very clearly, he's not going to do it unless you tell him you have his back. And I said, that's the call to action for us, Purple Hot Power. Pick up the phone and advocate. Pick up the phone and advocate. And that's what Donnie did. He picked up the phone and advocated, saying, I need it. My city needs it. My family needs it. I'm behind on, I need my help for the water bill and everything. And Sanders' office said, yes, we're doing it. Hurricane Tina advocated vigorously. Then the advocacy care, care covered with care, continued with Caroline, saying, listen, people are losing their homes. They're losing what they got. And Bernie Sanders' office telling Caroline they're putting it in there. Yaya advocating for people on SSI and SSDI needing help. And Ron Wyden's office saying not only they'll do a stimulus check, but that they will consider putting in that SS200 in there as well. By the end of the week, we saw a step up that we had never seen before, and that came from Will as he showed us the importance of calling multiple offices. He called Warren, Sanders, and Wyden advocating vigorously why I need this check. And that advocacy paid off because Senator Warren's office specifically told him that Senator Warren will be putting $1,400 to $2,000 six to 12 months in there. Lorica, which was a week ago, remember, had an incredible comment that said Senator Bob Casey's office reveals that they are near finalization of the negotiations on that stimulus check. And Casey, Bob is putting it in there. But then I told viewers, OK, we have House and we have Senate. Clearly, you've been doing a great job on the Senate, but go over to the House and start making the phone call. In fact, on morning's countdown this morning, Janice sent me a message in the live show, said, LA, I'm trying to get Omar on the phone. I said, contact Omar. Viewers need to contact Omar. Contact AOC. Contact Jayalapal. I made that message very loud and clear. Still, no one has been able to get through to Omar's office, but by late last week, Paul got into a got into the phone on AOC's office and advocated for that stimulus check. And the message was very loud and clear from Paul saying, this is what we need. This is why we need it. And AOC's office confirming to Paul, if I can find the graphic, here it is, that AOC is putting in a provision, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, six to 12 months. She assured me she's putting it in there. Then, we got further push from an incredible comment by Janice saying, I picked up the phone and I called Jayalapal's office. They're putting it in there. Great job, Janice. Late on Monday came this really big statement from Mark. Yeah, $51,000 Mark. Saying, I got off the phone with Pelosi's office and she said they're doing $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, 6 to 12 months, and the negotiations are near complete. And then finally, Paul reveals overnight that he has heard that Pelosi 
uh, AOC and and also Jayalapal are writing up the legislation and that the legislation will be uh, will have that 19 years or older provision. I'm reporting that the legislation will be debuted on the House side as part of the House bill. We'll go for a House vote first, and this is very critical for you. I'll explain to you right now why. You want to, again, in another world exclusive, I've been reporting for nearly three months, that the House would vote first. Why is this so helpful for you? Because of the following. You want Jayalapal, AOC, Omar, and Pelosi to get it right and to go first. If they get it right and they go first, we're good. Then it goes to the Senate. If for some reason they don't get it right, then we got our senators for the backup. The senators would vote last in the two-day voter Rama. That gives that gives Schumer, Sanders, Warren, Casey, Coons, uh, all those incredible Wyden, the opportunity to get that stimulus check in there. Remember, during a two-day voter rama, the senators can modify the language, increasing it or adding something in there. Finally, the debt ceiling limit. Oh, boy. And fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus will heat up later this fall. Raise your benefits up if you're on SSI and SSDI. Out for a vote by about November, removing the asset cap, removing the income cap, and removing the marriage penalty. But let's go over the debt ceiling limit because, boy, um, th this is a very confusing situation. First, what is the debt ceiling limit and, and why am I bringing it up? The debt ceiling limit is one of the most complicated bodies of legislation that even economists don't often understand what's going on. And that even the most sophisticated, educated person may not know what a debt ceiling limit is. Why is it important for me to bring it up? Because it's fair game for trolls and naysayers to confuse you by referring to it because it's a confusing instrument. And if it's a confusing instrument, they can really confuse Americans very quickly. The debt ceiling limit is uh, it concerns the ability of the federal government to pay its obligations. The debt ceiling limit is something they have to do every few months, and that debt ceiling limit deadline is next week. It, there are three possibilities of what could happen that appear at the moment. Number one, the Democrats could get what they have proposed approved. I don't see that happening at the moment. Number two, the Democrats could decide, you know what, I'll just do what the Republicans are proposing. I think that's a possibility. Or number three, the country could not meet its debt ceiling uh, date of next week. That is very much a possibility. If that event occurs default, it means absolutely 100% nothing for you and your benefit checks that week. I covered this twice before on this channel, where actually we went past the debt ceiling limit uh, once or twice on this channel. And what happens is the following. There are different stages. Stage one says, if we can't make, if we don't get it done the first week, then we start to tailor back certain things. Second week is things like um, federal employees may not come into the offices unless they're essential. Week number three may be the federal courts may close. Week number four may be this. When does things impact your Social Security benefits checks, your SSID checks? Those things kick in if this goes on for a month or two months, at least a month, perhaps two months. Your checks for Social Security will come on time and won't be affected by this. Your checks for SSI and SSDI will come on time and will not be affected by this uh, inability to get this done by next week. I want to make that 100% clear to you. When would this be an issue concern if it goes on for a month or two months and they still don't have a deal? The likelihood of that happening don't know, but at the moment it looks very unlikely. It has been very, very commonplace that they go that they go past the deadline a few days, a week, a week and a half. It's happened many times during a generation. It just happens all the time. So I don't want you to be cause for an alarm. All right, now on the other side, let's talk about stimulus and the debt ceiling limit. <laughs> the debt ceiling limit has nothing to do with the funding of the $3.5 trillion recon. The reason why there's a bill for the three, uh, you see why I'm smiling. The reason why there's a bill for the $3.5 trillion recon is because there's no law to provide money for the $3.5 trillion recon until they pass the $3.5 trillion recon. 
So there will be some idiots out there that will say something like, well, the debt ceiling limit has, has, now, has now passed and get it done, so you're not getting your money. No. The things that are impacted by the debt ceiling limit are things that are already law. Trump stuff from 2020. So if there's a Trump thing that's in the books that's law from 2020 and the debt ceiling limit passes next week, that Trump thing is not going to get paid. Not stuff that's not law. <laughs> Biden stuff from t- early 2021, that is law. That's not going to get paid. Not stimulus for stimulus that's not law. Not fist stimulus is not law. The reason why we have new bills is to, for those new bills to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> so no, there's going to be people who are going to tell you that your $3.5 trillion is not going to be paid because the debt ceiling limit has failed. No. The other last thing is work schedules. People may talk about work schedules. I don't see that in this issue at all. In fact, last night, the House of Representatives passed their debt ceiling limit bill. So they got their tables cleared to do your stuff, to do your recon. So that doesn't work either. It's important for you to understand this because debt ceiling limits is confusing. Number one, your checks are not going to be impacted. Benefit checks like SSI, SSDI, Social Security, your daughter in the military, your son in your military. Uh, none of your checks are going to be impacted. The only viewer that may get their benefit, that may be feel an impact are number one, if you're a federal employee in a federal building and you're not essential, let's say you work in the, uh, let's say you work in uh I don't know, the, the customs office, or, um, or you, you work in the courthouses of the federal, federal courthouses, and this goes on for two, three weeks. You may be put on leave temporarily. But other than that, the normal view of this channel that, that doesn't make you know, $80,000, $900,000 a year, it's not going to impact you whatsoever. And there you go. <laughs> a lot of stuff. And I'll see you next with a full, fl- full slate of programming coming up later today. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. Then evenings LA, and then we got shows at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 30 tonight as well. So be part of this incredible family and subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you to follow this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino, VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, stay with Ally for more.